Welcome! This beautiful plant is Fenestraria ropalophylla. I have two Fenestrarias. I have two different uh, varieties of Fenestraria. I have a white one and I have this one. The white one was in bloom about a month and a half ago and I showed it to you on another video and it had three flowers all together. However, they were not open at the same time. One opened after the other. And this one is um, has two flowers at the same time, which makes it absolutely beautiful and absolutely special. I've had this plant for a very long time, for about 15 years, maybe even more than that, and it grew a little bit through those 15 years. However, not really that much. It's not a fast growing plant. These flowers will be open for about a week. They will be opening during the day and closing for the night. And this is because this plant is pollinated by insects that are active uh, during the day and because the plant is from an extremely dry habitat, this is a way of preserving water as the petals are quite large and create a very large surface area through which water can evaporate. So closing the flower for the night is a way of saving water and preventing unnecessary evaporation. It belongs to a very interesting family of plants called Mesembryontemaceae, and the members of the family Mesembryontemaceae are from South Africa, many of them are from the Namib Desert, and others are from other dry areas of the southern parts of the African continent. What we can see here, these parts of the plant, are leaves and they are merged together by a very small stem which role is only to keep the leaves together and uh, in nature the leaves are covered by the substrate in which the plant is growing by the sand or, or uh, gravel and the only parts that are visible the only parts that are exposed to light are the tips of the leaf and if you can see uh, the tips seem to be a little bit translucent, and this is exactly what it is. They are uh, actually forming a lens that not only allows the light to the inside of the leaf, but also focuses the light on the uh, parts of the leaf that are green, on the cells that are rich in chlorophyll. And the photosynthesis actually takes place on the inside of the leaf. I find it extremely interesting and I find it to be uh, one of the main reasons why. I think this plant is one of the most interesting plants in my collection. It is sometimes referred to as a plant that is difficult to keep, that is a very uh, tricky. But the difficulty of keeping this plant is in the fact that it doesn't like to be watered. Sometimes during the winter time it shouldn't be watered at all and in the summer time it should be watered only a tiny little bit when the leaves are very very wrinkled in order to uh, prevent complete desiccation of the plant. It should be watered in the spring when the plant is waking up from its dormancy and then again in the summertime only very occasionally when the temperature is really really high and the sun is very strong and when the plant appears to be wrinkled and then it needs to be watered again when the flowers develop and then during winter time it should be kept completely dry and this is the difficulty because it is very tempting to water the plant, to take care of it. But we have to remember that the watering is more important for us than for the plant in this particular case. So the difficulty of, uh, of this plant lays in the fact that people have a natural tendency to take care of the plants that they have. 
and it is very difficult to resist watering. This is about it. This is about everything I would like to tell you about my Fenestraria ropalophila. I hope you like it because I like it a lot. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have an amazing afternoon.